Welcome to another beautiful day of Leap to Lead, guys. I hope that you are super excited to get this day started. Okay, so today we're going to talk about recruiting tips. Um, first of all, you want to go for the no. For every 10 no's, you're going to get one yes. So do not get discouraged with how many no's you're getting because it takes talking to tons of people to get tons of people to join your team. You're not going to go out here and talk to the first person and they're going to join your team. And then you talk to the second person and they join your team. And then you talk to the third person and they join your team. It's not going to happen. If it does, let me know because I need your secret. Because it ain't worked like that for me in the five years that I've done this. So, go for the no. Every 10 people you talk to that says no, you will get a yes. It's a scientific fact. It averages out to be like that at least. <laughs> so, talk to more people. If you are depending on the original people that you signed up with that supported your business to continue to support you into a big um, empire of people, that's not how this is going to work. Because probably the first people that supported you in this business were your very close friends and family who wanted to see you, wanted to help you succeed, and just kind of bought because they were trying to help you. And that's fine, and they probably will always support you. However, you are never going to get anywhere with that same group of people. So you have got to expand your network. So how do you expand your network? Parties. It doesn't matter if it is a shopping link. It doesn't matter if it's an online party. It doesn't matter if it's a home party. However you choose to get your parties booked, make sure you are having parties. And that means... Someone else is hosting the party because the goal is to get into someone else's network so that they now become your new network. Because once you meet these people in these parties, if you are not getting their contact information and turning them into your new contacts, you have completely missed the point of having a party. So for sure, get all the parties booked. You should be having at least one party a week. We are all guilty of not doing that. We have gotten into such a social media type buy online market that we have kind of gotten out of the party planning scheme of things. And we've got to get back into that in order to be successful because, again, you are not going to be able to expand your network without parties. So get all the parties booked, build your network, and go for the nose. Flip your hostesses. The people that are wanting the product for half off and free, why would they not want the half off and free product forevermore? Why would they not want to earn money off of their purchases themselves? You know, there are tons of people out there that are obsessed with Cincy, just like me and you, that no one has ever even asked to join. So find those people and just ask them. They might not want to buy, they might not want to sign up and that's totally fine. They just might want to buy forever. Everybody needs a buyer in order to be successful, so leave them where they're at. Your best customer may turn into be your worst recruit, or your best customer may turn into be your best recruit, but you've got to ask them. You've got to give them the opportunity because you cannot deprive someone of this opportunity. This opportunity could be someone's biggest blessing. Find the most successful person in your life and think about how you could spend this opportunity to them. Because that's the type of people that we want. We want motivated, um, successful, happy, outgoing type of people to join our team. Because that is how we succeed in this business. We get like-minded people who are ready to take this opportunity and run with it. Don't think that the most successful person that you know would never accept this opportunity because you have no idea what might be going on in that person's life. Maybe that person's getting ready to go through a divorce. Ugh a divorce, and they need some extra income. Maybe that person needs a tax break. Maybe that person just needs a way to meet new friends, which leads me into the thought of people join for three Fs, friends, fun, and finances. So pretty much everybody that joins, joins for one of those reasons, whether it be they just want to um, get a new circle of friends have a group of people that they can go to that are unbiased about their life. Because a lot of times, you know, people are from all walks of life in this and they can be successful no matter their walk of life. And so we have a very diverse group of people. We've got doctors in this team. We've got nurses. We've got stay-at-home moms. We've got teachers. We've got everything in this group. So there's really no way to say 
who's going to be successful and who's not because it's all about the heart and hustle that a person puts into this. People join for fun. People join for the trips. They join for the events that Cincy offers. The fun things that Cincy does. Having the fun of parties. You know, people may only host a party once every two to three months, but they're still having fun and that's why they do it. And then, of course, funds. People need money. People join this because they need extra cash for groceries, for their car payment. They're saving up to buy a house. People want, people love the idea of earning extra money. That has been going on since the beginning of time. People love money. So a lot of people are going to join for that reason. But you never know what a person may have going on in your life. So you always want to offer the opportunity to every person that you talk to. Not every person. Not every person. You don't want to be that person. But you want to be, you want to have an organic, trusted relationship with someone whenever you bring this conversation up. Please do not go up to Susie Q in the grocery line and ask them if they'd like to join your team. Don't do that. That's weird. That's creepy. You're the definition of a pyramid scheme, MLM weirdo. Don't do that. But if you know someone and you see that this opportunity could benefit their life and you already have a trusted relationship with them, casually bring it up in conversation and see how their interest goes. If it's totally out of the, you know, they have no interest whatsoever, don't really worry about it. But if they kind of seem like they might be interested, maybe you can just mention, hey, have you ever thought about joining Cincy? Like, it's been a really big blessing to me in my life. You never know. People that you never dreamed would join your team could join and be the next superstar director. You have no idea. You have no idea. So offer the opportunity to every single person. Um, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say. Those were the biggest things that I wanted to say. Go for the no. Oh, 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 oh. Always, always, always focus on how this business could benefit the other person. You do not ever want to focus on why they should join your team and how it can benefit you because that's icky and it sounds gross and nobody wants to be that person. Yes, you may need two to three people a month to sustain big numbers. Yes, you may need two to three people to certify or promote or whatever to get your next promotion. That should always be in the background of why you want someone else to be successful. Because the more of an of a arrows out attitude that you have, the more blessings you're going to bring back in. Because if you are more focused on how this business can benefit someone else and you're genuine about it and they can feel that, they're going to be more likely to trust you and join your team and be successful because they know that you're going to back them and you know their why and you're not going to push them for the wrong reasons. If you have someone sign up that's strictly joined to meet new people and you're pushing them to hit two, you know, 500 to 1,000 PRV every single month, you're going to push them away. You've got to know why they joined. You've got to know how to help them. And you've got to let them do their own thing. Because you will never, ever, ever get someone else to care about your dreams the way that you do. You're never going to find somebody else that feels and thinks and hustles the same way that you do. Everybody's going to be different. So if you have five people sign up in a month, you might get one rock star. Those are big facts. Big facts. You may have 10 people join and only get one rock star. It's, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen with recruits. And it's perfectly fine because we all need hobbyists. We all need them. That's what continues and maintains our numbers. And that's fine. We like people. We like them to hang out with us and do things. But you need to know in the beginning when they join, what they join for, how they can best be helped, and how you can support them in this business. You want to make this totally about that person. Because if you make it about you, they're not going to care. But if you spin it in a way that you want to help them be successful and you're here for them, they're way more likely to produce the results that you both want to see them succeed. You know what I'm saying? Like you've got to make it about them. This cannot be about you in any sort of way. When you have an arrows in attitude that shows people feel like you're selfish, people feel like you're self-centered and they're not going to care. They're not going to care at all. So once you start focusing on other people 
and how this business can bless them, that's when you're going to start to see success. So make sure that you always have an arrows out attitude. Make sure that you are always looking for the next person to bless with this opportunity because this opportunity can be the biggest blessing in someone's life. Seriously, it can be. Whether it's that they meet their best friend and they become best friends forever and you have totally changed that <laughs> change that person's life because they met their best friend or whether they become a millionaire whatever it may be it could be the biggest turning point in that person's life so do not hold the opportunity back from anyone you do not get to decide whether that person is going to be successful or not your responsibility is to offer the opportunity to everybody period offer it to everybody no matter what so Find more people by booking parties. Go for the no. Every 10 no's, you might get a yes. Think about the most successful people in your life and how this business could benefit them and think about it in that way. You don't necessarily have to like reach out to them or like put them on your dream team, but think about the most successful people in there in your life and how this could be a blessing for them. And that'll kind of get you in the mindset of this business can be for anybody. And then... I want you to think of your top five dream team members, and I want you to think about how this business can benefit them. And I want you to think of the way that you would spin it to them to promote them joining your team. So if somebody's having a financial crisis, maybe it would benefit them by the money aspect, or maybe you could do a fundraiser for them. Whatever the benefit may be, think about how you could spin it to them for them. And then if you really want to get brave, contact them, offer them the join kit, offer them the $59 hostess kit that we talked about that I showed you how to do and see what happens because you're never going to know if you don't ask. If you keep it all inside constantly and you never offer, offer the opportunity, you're never going to get any teammates. So it's not going to hurt anything to ask, but if you keep it inside, you're hurting yourself. So find the five people that you want on your dream team. Think about how this benefit, how this business would benefit them, how you would spin it to them in a positive light that would benefit their life. And then if you really get brave, contact that person and tell them why you think this business would benefit them and see what happens. You never know. You might get five team members today. Good luck.